Good morning, it's Friday, October 22nd. I'm Summer Matthews, and here are the stories we have for you today. New Washington students come to Jeff High for WJHS classes. And a deadline for your name on your yearbook. Good morning, I'm Jakari Fitzpatrick, and your JHS report is coming up. Today is the last day to purchase a yearbook with your name printed on the front. If you do not have an order form, see a yearbook staff member or come to room C214. Open mic night trials will be held November 9th in the cafeteria right after school. If you can sing, dance, or have any other talent, come to the tryouts. Students from New Washington travel to Jeff Hyde to take WJHS. JHS reporter Heaven McGill has a story. Jeff High students aren't the only students attending school here. Many come from different schools around the area to go to different vocational programs offered here. I'm going to talk to some students who come from New Washington High School to attend the broadcasting classes offered here. Yeah, uh, they all they treat me the same as I think they would anybody else that they go to school with. <laughs> Why did you decide to take this class? My sister came here uh, her junior and senior year, and I knew about it, and I really thought it'd be a really neat experience, and it has been. What do you like about it? Uh, I like to do the PSAs and the commercials and the news stories. I, I, like to, I like the filming part and the directing people around. I really enjoy that. What's it like to go to different schools? It's really different. The atmosphere is really different because this school is a lot more crowded than my school. My school is really, really small, and this one's about four times its size, so it's quite a change. <laughs> Do you feel like you're a part of Jeff High? Um, within the class, yes, but out, not really as a part of like school events and stuff, just because I'm only here for two classes a day. I don't really you know, get to experience the whole school day here. This, I don't come to a lot of the sporting events. so. Would you ever come to Jeff High? Probably not, just because at my school I know who everybody is, and at Jeff High I don't really know much of anyone except people within the class. I'm just so accustomed to seeing everyone I know in the hallway, and here I wouldn't know half the people. Why did you decide to take this class? I thought it'd be really interesting to like shoot videos and write for them and be a part of like something that's fun. What do you like about it? Um, like I said, it's really fun to do, just to be in the videos and joke around with friends and get it all on tape. For the JHS Report, I'm Heaven McGill. Students will no longer be permitted in the library during fourth period unless you have a blue library pass from a teacher or a lunch pass is from Mrs. Means. Only 20 lunch passes will be given out daily. See Mrs. Means before school for a pass. Tutoring continues at Jeff High. English, Math, and Algebra 1 ECA tutoring will be held Monday through Thursday at 2.30 p.m. The JHS Report is happy to air your announcement. Simply fill out the form located in the front office or have a staff member email Mr. Gross and we will do our best to make sure that announcement gets on the air. We will have the JHS weather forecast plus your latest Jeff High sports after this break. Hungry? Why not try Moby Dick Seafood? 700 East 10th Street in Jeffersonville. Voted best seafood in Clark County. Feed two or more with a box of two or more for only $14.69. Seven days a week, dine in, carry out or drive through. A clean, comfortable restaurant for the entire family. Open till 9 p.m. Monday through Thursday, 10 p.m. Friday and Saturday, and 8 p.m. on Sunday. Stop in and have a whale of a sandwich. I'm Tamara Smith with a look at today's JHS weather forecast. Today, abundant sunshine, high 71. Tonight, a few passing clouds, low 48. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy skies, warm, high near 80. Let's look at your JHS weather forecast. Good morning, I'm Curtis Estry with the latest Jeff High Sports. A huge win for the Jeff Girls Volleyball Team in the Jennings County Sectional Tournament last night. Red Devils rallied to win the final three sets and defeated Bedford North Thorns 7-25, 25-22, 25-22, and 25-20. The Red Devils had not won one sexual match in the past 11 years prior to Thursday night's victory. Jeff advances to face Seymour in Saturday's first semifinal at 11 a.m. at Jennings County High School. The boys' soccer team will travel to Evansville Central on Saturday to compete in semi-state action for the first time in five years. Jeffersonville will collide with the number 11 Washington Hatchets at 1 p.m. The winner will face either East Central or number 8 Evansville Memorial for the championship at 7 p.m. 
The Red Devils, 18-2, won their third regional title and have never won a semi-state. Washington has won five semi-state titles, the last coming in 2003. Two Jeff High Cross Country runners advance to the semi-state this Saturday. Connie Chan and Leonard Kutanda will race at Brown County next Saturday. Playoff football begins tonight as Jeff travels to Duomany for Game 1 of the IHSAA sectional playoffs. That's the latest Jeff High Sports. Stay tuned. A final word from the news desk is next. Television and... and Called Phil House. Uh -oh. <laughs> Please tell me that's not a it's your phone. Phil House! I said no phone! Man, I don't even know what he's talking about, man. Have a great day. Finally today, it's a great way to wish a classmate or your special friend a happy birthday. It's easy to do with the JHS Report birthday greeting. Bring six pictures and five dollars from 713 at least a day in advance, and we will be sure to get your birthday greeting on the air. That's the latest Jeff High News. We hope you have a great day. I'm Jakari Fitzpatrick. And I'm Summer Matthews. Join us tomorrow for the, new, the latest news and information. And thank you for watching the JHS Report. Hey. I got you. I got flowers in the spring. I got you to wear my ring.